Smoke billows out of a steel-framed building as researchers watch from below. Compartment temperatures are between 650 and about 850. Last month, they tested how this building reacted during a simulated earthquake. Structural engineering professor Tara Hutchinson says fire spreads more easily after an earthquake damages drywall. We see separation, we see tearing and crushing, and all of that is a path for temperatures to cross into the cavity and then into other spaces. And if you're in the other space, obviously your livelihood, your protection is compromised. Today, they're measuring the spread of smoke, heat, and fire in the building's ninth story. We have drones in the air that are trying to ca capture surface temperature, um, wind information, even particulate information. Um, we have thermal cameras and visual cameras, RGB cameras on top of that, those drones. Um, to try to get a whole picture of um, what the environment looks like uh, during and after these uh, fire tests. The building is made of cold-formed steel. It's a strong, lightweight, recycled material. Currently, U.S. building code limits buildings made of cold form steel to six stories. These experiments are testing the safety of a 10-story building. Firefighters with CAL FIRE were standing by during the test. Captain Thomas Schutz says earthquake damage can make it riskier for firefighters to enter buildings. Any kind of weakened structure is going to be a challenge for us, and it's really that risk versus gain at that point, trying to figure out what, what, what we can do to, to help the situation without, without hurting or injuring our firefighters. UC San Diego says these tests could help determine whether the six-story height limit could safely increase, potentially making construction faster and less expensive. Researchers plan to conduct another fire test on the sixth story in the coming weeks. Katie Anastas, KBBS News.